All right, guys, welcome back to Rouse House. We went, started at the bottom and painted up. We're coming back down and we'll go back up. But right now I'm kind of working on this tree line. And I had this uh, burnt sienna out here and this raw sienna. So I just grabbed a little bit of this sky color blue over here, serene blue that we had. Just mixed them together. And so that just gives me a good tree green. So we made our own green out of red. Red and blue goes to green, see? And we're just going to catch some uh, tree colors on here tree shapes and, and don't cover up all the colors you put in back there. You don't want to cover up everything, but see how it's doing and creating depth back in there and the other colors and the trees that are back in there and uh, all these different color greens. We just want to kind of catch that tree line there. And, so, so we blend into the other things that are in there. And, as it grays out, move it further up. From the shadow side of the tree, right under the tree. Right up to that silo. Mike's fussing up about the silo. You did it so good, you missed it up. Well, we're waiting through. We've got to put paint on paint. We don't want it to be flat. Shapes. And while we got some of that dark green, let's pull it down back down here into the front, cut in some strokes down here, and we're just going to use it everywhere, see. And I probably, I hope I didn't just mess up this picture. Man. Because in order to get we got the disc arrow there. That little valley right there was good and green. I mean, it was dark green. So we'll catch some of that in there. Keep that dark. Put enough water around, get me kind of a blaze. Get on top of this back up here. It's that light color is still coming through, but now it looks more. Remember, it's the springtime. That grass is green. So we'll get that green going in the back in there. Under there. Green's also on top of red, a good shadow color. Put that green on top of that red, so that kind of makes a shadow. We just move and paint it. Pile some of that in there on top of these other colors and get my green back. That green on that raw sienna makes a good little, a little bit different color green than what we had. That's what I wanted. A little bit more colors. Keep it dark down here in this pasture. So every time you add a color, you add more depth. Don't cover up while sun just keep going. I'm bringing the two together. There's our little beehives up there on the hillside. And put just a touch of white in this. Mix that green together, see. Move up on this hillside a little bit where the sun might be hitting a little more white. Just kind of mix it together. So we can't get a little bit more there. We go get a little bit more light up on that hillside back into there. So now it's a kind of a green white, so that bright white we had before on that tree line there. So that's what makes that tree line darker. Just putting more light in there. So that was coming down a hillside, just like that. A little bit more. That road went behind that barn there. That's the area you want to keep. I haven't got a road cut in yet. And on top of that silo, this brush is too big. We've got a smaller brush over here. We'll try to cleave the masses and cut that in back in a little bit. 
I'm going to grab some more whiteness. Lighten that up a little bit. Get the top back on our silo here. See, sun's coming from over here. It was more of that color, wasn't it? So it's just amazing. A few strokes brings it back. And we put the darks and the shadows, but we're just drawing again. And it had that metal thing that came right down the side. And it's like a tube that comes down the side of that silo. So I'm sure it was, it might have been the elevator to carry the grain to the top and dump it in the silo. That's probably what it was, an artery. Or a vent, I don't know. I thought about the vent the gases. The, uh, let's grab a little bit more of that white and that green. And it just gives us a good white color on against the sky. And just kind of light there and right down that side is turned towards the sun. Oops, that straight over here. And it had these little ribs that tied it all together. So we kind of get a few of those in there. These were metal bands that went around and tied this together. Kept it from coming apart. And we'll kind of straighten it up. Yeah. Get some, uh, let's get a little roof color we can play with in here. I want that roof to, we'll cut that red back into it, but let's get that, so that roof will be getting that sunshine, see. That sun is, it's hitting on it. Okay. water, a little bit more paint. coming down through here, see this is what was supporting it. We'll kind of darken those back down, we're just drawing it back in where, the, where this thing was actually at. Dark up under there, I remember that. This came down here. I've got my brush loaded, let's get some light coming down through here on this silo thing. We're just trying to get some things drawn in. We'll, we'll glaze over this stuff. Don't forget our little honeybees that were over here. The side that's turned towards the light, see? Let's catch that side. This, these were double stacked. And one over here. Don't want to forget our honeybees. She has some diagonals on here that kept the barn from shifting. You got to have that on everything you build. It keeps it from moving. I'm going to add a piece going across here. One going that way, one going that way. The legs are on the back side. We'll be back there a little bit and we'll lose them and kind of fade them out there a little bit. And then we'll cover the other side with it. Still gonna catch a little bit more light on this tree, on this ridge line. Then when I put a color on it, that'll show through, but it'll it'll do what we're wanting it to do. We got this disc arrow down here in the foreground. We forgot about it. But, ooh, I tell you what, I got the wrong brush for that. I tell you what, we're gonna come back and do this with the right brush. We'll cut it, draw this disc arrow, and then we'll paint on it a little bit. Y'all come.